Hi, my name is Tiago Duarte and welcome to another video tutorial. In today's video, we are going to talk about distortion and uh, how to use distortion inside FL Studio with and uh, without native plugins. Before we jump into the tutorial, I would like to ask you to subscribe and activate the notifications so that you know when we upload new videos. Sorry. And um, <clears throat> If you like this video, leave a like, and if you have any questions or suggestions, just leave them in the comments below. And also, if you like to support this channel, and if you like us to continue to make free videos to YouTube, please go to our website and consider buying one of our products because it helps us a lot to continue to be um, making content for you guys. So let's go ahead and start the tutorial. The first thing I'm going to do is going to grab some drums and um, I'm going to make a loop and, and, and then I'm going to make a, a very fast trap beat. So I'm going to go with 150 in terms of BPM. Now let's go to dailybeats.pt, let's go to drum kits, headbanging trap drums and here let's grab, let's first grab uh, the MIDI loops. So uh, let's go. Actually, let's let me go with a loop already. Okay, so this is one fifth forty, and uh, we are now using one fifty. So let me go grab this eight oh eight. We are going to use a distortion in this eight oh eight. So let's go here and let's stretch this uh, drum loop so that we can have 150 bpms so let's go here to the stretch first we have to go to focus audio clips here in this icon and then let's go to stretch and here uh, we ha have to zoom in and with the alt selected i'm going to stretch the loop like so and now i'm going to check to see if the loop is, um, how can I say, if it's um, aligned, which is not, because this is, uh, the, the loop might have some, um, how can I say, some, uh, some, uh, some, uh, it's, the word is missing, so if you go here, some tail, the tail, when I exported the, the loop, might be, might have some some of the tail and uh, this way the loop does not align so this is a snare i know this is a snare and the snare should be here in this line so we have to go to alt and do something like this okay i think it's nice we can cut the the tail now and let's listen to the to the drum loop Okay, so now we are in tempo. Let's go to pattern one, and in this pattern one, we are going to have the 808. So let me go ahead and put here the drum loop. And this will be 808. And I'm going to add some bells here. First, let me go ahead and uh, tune the 808 so this is in the key of D so I have to go here and put the key of D and also I'm going to put the hold in the enable the envelope and um, disable everything or put every, all parameters at the lowest volume value sorry and the hold at the maximum value so this is uh, now right and uh, let's grab here the expand and let's go with some bells okay so let's do a very simple rhythm this 
So let's go maybe with this. Let me see. Okay, I like this one. And now let's do something like this. Okay, now we can. This is very simple just to explain the um, distortion. And let's grab here the 808. apply some distortion here to the 808 so the first thing we have to do is to load a plugin and if you go here to distortion you will have several several um, plugins these are all native from FL Studio and if you don't see these uh, plugins or the, this list like this you have to go here and select three because normally is in categories and it's something like this but even then even in this um, view you have here distortion and the plugins on the distortion folder let's say or sub menu so i like this as three because now i can go here and we have the blood overdrive fast distortion soft clipper squeeze wave shaper and hardcore you can, let's start with blood overdrive and this is a very simple plugin with uh, no user interface uh, whatsoever at least no how can i say with no images and no 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 fancy gui of course it has a user interface which are these knobs and here you have several options and uh, as you can see you have pre-band color preamp post gain post filter and text uh, 100 uh, x100 and let's see what kind of uh, presets we have we have the boost drive and that's it so let's go ahead i don't usually use this one so let me go to the options options no the help where uh, where is the help mm, there is no there is no um help for this plugin which i probably will find but yeah whatever let me close the browser maybe some other time i will go to the fl studio help to see but uh, yeah let's see what we can do here this is some kind of pre-band I don't know if this is lowering the gain or applying a high pass filter. Let's see the, the color. Actually here the preamp is where we are going to drive things uh, up. So let's put this at the maximum and you can see that now we have the same top um, volume but the signal is completely destroyed. Not the same but uh, yeah you can 
you see the difference this increases the the gain so let's see let's say we put this at 0 0.5 and something like this now we can see some kind some distortion let me exaggerate everything let me put this on the maximum okay so this pre-band is i think it's applying some kind of low pass to the um, distortion itself not the input of the signal but in the distortion and then mixes the two it's kind of um, I don't know, a high pass high pass filter of the distortion and times will uh, apply 100 times the same effect and here the color we can uh, apply some kind of color to the distortion and this same post filter will probably apply a low pass filter to the uh, output of fruity blood overdrive uh, you can here let me go to four have to be very careful with this now because it can destroy not destroy but it can uh, harm your ears because it will uh, multiply by 100 this this effect so have to be careful when you use it or you can put it like this but with a low preamp and then increase it this will make it more rough more uh, grimy the the distortion Here with the post gain you can adjust the volume without uh, moving here the, the knob okay so this is blood overdrive is a very simple plugin with only six knobs okay so let's go to another one and this time let's go to the distortion fast distortion this is a very simple plugin and as you can see here we have the pre threshold two modes of distortion mix and post and uh, if we play the 808 we can let's say let's say we have the mix volume to the maximum and here is where you can mix the the amount of distortion you want with the original 808 in this case uh, but the, the original signal or audio signal that you are trying to distort and um, here as you can see we can increase or decrease the amount of uh, distortion in this plugin with the mix volume and here you can with the pre you can give more volume to the mix to the plugin and have a more aggressive distortion here with the threshold knob you can select or uh, apply different thresholds and this will create a more subtle uh, distortion and also here with AB you can have different kinds of distortion or two at least two different types of distortion and you can see based here on the um, on the curve this one is more aggressive and this one is more subtle and uh, you can listen this one is more grimy more hard and uh, this one is less less aggressive and um, that's pretty much it and here uh, you can mix the the with the pros the pre and the post volume you can define the the, the volume that goes in into the distortion and the volume that goes out of the distortion this is not um, how can i say this is a very the, these knobs are not just gain so if you increase the pre you will have more distortion even if you uh, so let's say let's let's compensate everything let's put everything on reset so let's say here that you have this kind of threshold we are uh, reaching minus 15 db if i increase we 
still have uh, 15 dB because we have a threshold at the maximum and this curve here is uh, uh, behaving a little bit like a limiter but if you decrease the threshold you now have a more uh, a higher vo volume at the output so you have to compensate that with a with a post post um, with the post knob so that the volume stays pretty much the same but be careful that um, the amount of the signal you fed into the plugin will change the distortion so you have to be careful with that so if you want more signal to be distorted you increase the gain and if you want less signal to be distorted even with the same amount of uh, threshold you decrease the pre the pre knob and as you can see we pretty much have the same volume but one is distorted and the other one is not I don't like this I'm not liking this this uh, bell the loop but I will leave it as is without the bell the, just a drum loop and the 808 this was just uh, the bells were just uh, um, attached to to have uh, um, how can i say today the, the words are missing sorry but uh, yeah with the loop and the 808 so let's go to another one uh, let's go to distortion and soft clipper this one again is a even simpler uh, than the fast distortion because it has only the threshold and the post this is a very simple plugin Without this one, uh, we have uh, the threshold here behaves on the on the opposite way of the of this one in the um, fast distortion, and here you can see that whenever we increase the threshold, we have less distortion, and here uh, we have more distortion. This is a more I don't know, this doesn't give us the same amount of distortion as the fast distortion or the blood overdrive. Okay, so let's go and try another one. Distortion, the squeeze. This one, um, I don't know, I don't use it too much whenever I want to do some, uh, some distortion because this is more like... Um, I don't know let me try you see this destroys the sound does not give distortion uh, which is different uh, this is more like a, uh, how can I say yeah some kind of um, the word is missing um, yeah i will not use this one too much to to make distort distorted air weights or distorted sounds because this is more a squeeze plugin than other thing else so let's go to distortion again and let's use fruity wave shaper and this yes this one is a very comprehensive plugin because it gives you the um, the how can i say the um, the ability to change the the curves here so let's say let's try to make some kind some, this curve here in the wave shaper and we will see that we will have pretty much the same uh, or not the same because we can mix here in the 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 volume but here we have in the maximum so let's go ahead and this is pretty much one two three four squares so we have one two three and four so let's bring this one here down pretty much on half of the second square and uh, now we have one two three four squares one two three four so this is a big square so this is pretty much something like this one okay and now we can have something like this mm, it's not it's more like goes like this and then a curve so something like this and then a curve 
something like this. So let's try to a bit. This one is a little bit more grittier, but the effect is pretty much the same. So we can even go here. Okay, so now we're getting there with the pre and post. So the post here is pretty much the. It's not the same, but uh, but uh, it's uh, how can I say? It's uh, it's giving me something close to this to this to this. Uh, in terms of volume to the fast distortion this one gives a little bit more greedy more top end but, but they are very close so as you can see here you can uh, the distortion is based on the these curves that you you have the ability to draw in the wave shaper so let's go ahead and put this on default and as you can see here we have no no kind of distortion so let's add a, a point to add a point you just right click and as you can see now we have a very aggressive and the volume is too loud so let's decrease around 15 okay then you can change the curves pretty much this is a little bit more aggressive but uh, as you can see the curve is pretty much the same now you can draw different curves you can change the points to a double curve hold smooth a single curve pretty much the same as the automation you can um, as the same as the points in the automation you can change the volume the volume the different parameters of each point and here as you can see this is the i think the maximum that we have in level so we i'm going to decrease the mix and increase the pre and now we have we go even more uh, deep into the shape the shape here that i draw and as you can see we have a more aggressive tone now we can increase the post so we reach minus 15 okay so maybe something a little bit more okay something like this now it's a little bit more aggressive and um, yeah so let's go ahead and try another one and uh, the last one that we have is here the hardcore and this is a demo version so i don't have it but uh, as you can see here uh, sorry for the loudness here as you can see this is a more it's more based on pedals like guitar pedals and this stuff and uh, as you can see here this emulates pretty much um uh, a chain of pedals of distortion uh, gates and chorus you have a lot of uh, different uh, effects here so you can achieve some some kind of distortion here we also have a lot of presets but um, since this is the demo version i'm not going to to use this because i, I don't have it so yeah let's go here to third party plugins and let's see what we have in terms of distortion we have this one here uh, i don't have too much distortion uh, plugins because i don't use it uh, a lot and um, the fruity wave shaper and the fast distortion along with the uh, eq will give everything that i normally need in terms of distortion uh, let's use here the tribe knob and this is a, a free plugin from Able Tunes, and it's quite nice. And also, it gives a, a different, uh, uh, what can I say? It gives a nice, a nice tone in the distortion. But uh, it's it's fixed, so you can't, you cannot change the the the, the distortion type. So, like here in the, in the fruity wave shaper, in the fruity wave shaper, and also in the fast distortion. 
and you can disable and enable and also there's another one here that I sometimes use it's called crush and this is a very nice plugin <coughs> which and is free so you can download it and uh, start using it. and you have here the drive the crush and the DWSP I usually only use the drive gives a nice distortion and um, very clean distortion so let's decrease here so we have around minus 15 it's not too loud and also you have you can have different kind of filters if I disable the filter you will not listen to much you you will not see too much different difference but as you can see here you can apply some some high pass or low pass filter and these ones are more aggressive or you can have everything here to destroy your sound completely so as you can see here this these are the the basic plugins that i use when i want to do some kind of uh, distortion and they are really simple and uh, there's not too much uh, to about distortion let me place it something like this let me bring this one here and uh, as you can see we have two uh, plugins outside of FL Studio that are not natives and three plugins that are native from FL Studio and uh, I usually use these two the fast distortion and the wave shaper and when I just need some a little bit a little touch of distortion I use these two because uh, they are uh, you cannot change the distortion type and they are fixed so when I whenever I want to do some crazy this uh, crazy or, or custom distortion I use fruity wave shaper and um, whenever I want to just add a little bit of distortion and uh, to, to one sound I, I use normally these three here the Abletons or the drive knob the crush and the fast distortion so that's it guys uh, I hope you enjoyed this video on distortion and if you have any questions or suggestions just leave them in the comments below and also uh, if you are new to this channel subscribe and activate the notifications so that you know when we upload new videos and um, uh, consider going to our website www.dailybeats.pt and buy one of our products because it helps us a lot to continue to make free content here to YouTube and um, Facebook and uh, yeah I think that's it guys I'll see you in the next one peace